Hello everybody, it's Italy back again another video. Oh boy, oh boy, Stefano Sitsipas, what a clinical performance, what a flawless performance, what a great mode level performance, maybe even beast mode level performance. Man, you need to be impressed, man, you need to be impressed with this performance from Stefano Sitsipas. Are we surprised? No. I believe before the man that despite the current Hashan of coming into this semi-final with great form, Stefanos Tsitsipas will be just too much for Karen Hashanov to handle. Why? Because what did I say? Why Tsitsipas will win this match? Because he has a bigger serve than Karen Hashanov, he has a bigger forehand than Karen Hashanov. And oh my dear God, it was exactly what was the case. Stefan of Tsitsipas. And someone, I don't know if that guy was serious, he wrote a comment to me in the last video, Stefan of Tsitsipas is not good. And he said, no, he said, Stefan of Tsitsipas forehand is not good. Are you high, my friend? Are you high? Just tell me, are you high? Stefano Tsitsipas forehand is not good. My dear God. <laughs> of course it has, of course that is not true. Of course that is not true. Saying Stefano Tsitsipas is not good. Saying Stefano Tsitsipas forehand is not good. It's like saying that I am more handsome than Justin Bieber. Come on, for my, my tennis friends all around the world. Come on. Of course, Stefano Tsitsipas' forehand is really, really good. It is with that shot that gives him money. It is with that shot that gives him points. It is that with that shot that makes him successful. It is with that shot that makes him dangerous. It is that with that shot that has been keeping him in the top 10 world in the world ranking for several years now. Stefano Tsitsipas, what a vintage performance. He was two sets to love up against Kara Hashanov. Won the first set, 7-6 six, uh, six in the tiebreak, 7-2 in the tiebreak. Won the second, 6-4. And then was up a break in the third. Was serving for the match in that 5-4 game. He choked, he kind of choked there. Uh, he kind of choked, according to me. He got a little nervous there because, he, after all, he was serving for his first ever Asher Open final and for his uh, second ever Grand Slam final. We all know he played his first ever Grand Slam final two years ago at French Open. So he kind of choked in that 10th game or third set and Karan Khashinov leveled the match in that third set to 5-all and then they went into a tiebreak. Even there, Stefan Tsitsipas actually was in the pole position was up in the third set tiebreak 6-4 and had actually two match points. One of those in his serve. He kind of choked there as well. He was actually leading that third set tiebreak 6-4 and Kara Hashanov comes back and wins four consecutive points and wins that third set tiebreak 8-6. But it is here, it is here where Stefano Tsitsipas showed his resilience, showed his Focus showed his, I forgot what happened in the third set attitude. And he just pushed that beast mode button in the fourth set and never looked back and got off to a great start to hold, held his serve in the first game of first set. Very, very easy. 40 love, I believe he won that first, first game of the uh, fourth set. And then he broke Karan Hashinov immediately in the second game of the fourth set. And was and never and when he got his uh, when he got that uh, break in early the fourth set, Stefan Tsitsipas, he never looked back. He never looked back after that. He was untouchable on serve in the fourth set. Fourth set maybe was Stefan Tsitsipas' best set in the entire match. He dropped only two serves in his first serve. He landed 18 first serves, Stefan Tsitsipas, in the fourth set. And he won 16 of those 18 serves, 18 first serves that he lands. So Stefano Tsitsipas drops only two first serve in the fourth set. That makes it two. 89% winning of the points in his first serve in the fourth set. He was completely untouchable. 
He was just untouchable on his first serve in the fourth set. He won all of his first, uh, he won all of his serving games, Stefan Sitsubas, in the fourth set, 40 love or 40 50. He did 17 winners and only 7 unforced errors in that 4th set only. So he does 10 more winners than unforced errors in the 4th set. So he, it was a beast mode level since pass we saw in the 4th set. Karakashinov more or less did only, a bad, only one bad game in the 4th set. And that was the second game of the 4th set where he got broken. That was, only, that was Karakashinov's only bad game in that fourth set second game that was that was all besides that Karakashan actually stayed toe to toe with Tsitsipas but Tsitsipas he just pushed that beast mode button in the fourth set he just decided you know Karakashan you know Karakashan it is me who has the biggest chance to defeat Novak Djokovic in the final because I believe Djokovic will defeat Tommy Paul it is me who can give Novak Djokovic the biggest challenge of all the players here in Astralopa 2023? It is me who are ready to take on this, this Mount Everest mountain to climb. It is not you. It is me who has the tools. It is me who has the weapons. It is me who has the belief. Even though I am in the head-to-head -head down against Djokovic. 10-2, even though Djokovic has defeated me nine straight times. I don't care. I am probably in my shape of my life. I have not lost one single match in this 2023 season yet. He won four matches in the, in the United Cup, and now he has won six matches here at Astralopan. So Stefano Titipas is in a 10-match winning streak in this year's 2023 season so far. He's playing tennis with big confidence by tennis players all around the world. I was really impressed. Some stats, and the stats are also showing that Tsitsipas is playing unbelievable good tennis. The stats are showing that. He did 18 aces, five double faults, lands 64% first serve in, wins 84% behind his first serve. That is a crazy high number in winning points behind the first serve, 84%. And why does he, does he do that? Because he has a lethal first serve and a murderous great third shot. Murderous. I said it in previous days. Chitipas has one of the best third shots in the world. One of the best third shots. To have a chance against him, you need to avoid this murderous forehand. If you don't avoid you, his murderous forehand, you are toast. And that's why he won 84% of the points behind his first serve. Won 53% of the points behind the second serve, did 66 winners and 34 unforced errors. Tsitsipas does 32 more winners than unforced errors. 30 bloody two more winners than unforced errors. That is outrageous number. Won and, and broke uh, uh, Kashanov five times out of 12 breakpoint opportunities that he had. And he won in the match in total 145 points. Karakashinov was not that bad himself, but of course, ma uh, weaker than Tsitsipas, because Tsitsipas obviously was the much better player. Even in the third set, Tsitsipas actually was the better player. He should have won this match in straight set, but he kind of choked there a little, but he regrouped in the fourth set, like I said. Karakashinov, he did 10 aces, one double fall, lands 68% first serve in, so he lands more first serve in than Tsitsipas, Tsitsipas will land 64. Karakashinov won 66% behind his first serve, that's, that, there we have a huge difference. Tsitsipas wins 84% behind his first serve. Karakashina wins 66% behind his first serve. Karakashina won a little more points behind his second serve. He won 58% uh, of his second serve points. 58%. Tsitsipas won 53% of his second serve points. Won. But the biggest difference here was winning points behind your first serve. Tsitsipas is, is outclasses. Kalakashan in that department. Well, Tsitsipas won 84% behind his first serve. Kalakashan won only 66% uh, behind his uh, first serve. And Kalakashan did 46 winners, 32 unforced errors. So Kalakashan wins, does, uh, does 14 more winners than unforced errors. So Kalakashan does actually a good match. He does a good match, but he just went into a beast mode, Tsitsipas. In, uh, 
if not beast mode, very close to beast mode since pass. Very close. Uh, and Karakashin of 120, uh, Karakashin of broke Tsitsipas serve three times out of four break motion opportunities that he had. And Karakashin won in the match in total 123 points. So Tsitsipas wins 22 more points than Karakashin of the entire match. That is a huge difference actually in tennis. That is a huge difference. That shows that this match actually should have finished in straight set for Tsitsipas. It really showed that. Uh, but all credit for, for Karakashan for never giving up there and staying in that in the third set and winning one set from Tsitsipas there. But in the end of the day, Tsitsipas should have won this match in straight sets. Tsitsipas also was really good at the net, I should not forget. He attacked the net 41 times, my tennis friends, all around the world. 41 times and won 29 of those approaches. 29. That makes it to 71% successful at the net. He really did a great job at the net as well. Uh, Karakashan also attacked the net pretty much, uh, uh, a lot, 37 times, but he was not as, as successful in putting away the Wallace. He won 23 of the points out of 37 times that he attacked the net. Karakashan, that makes it to 62% successful at the net. So, Tidipas, he really did it all. Served good, did, hit his forehead unbelievable good, Return pretty decent as well. Attacked the net really good. Uh, protected his backhand pretty good. He doesn't do the biggest damage with the backhand, Tsitsipas. He most like he he will just stay in the rally or slice it. He, he Tsitsipas just wants to make sure not to do one first damage with the backhand. He he does the biggest damage with his forehand. The the goal for Tsitsipas is hit as many forehands as possible. And when he does that. He is really difficult of defeating. If you want to have a chance against Tsitsipas and defeating him, you need to make sure him to hit as much backhands as possible, which Karakashinov in the end of the day didn't do. Big congratulations to Stefan Tsitsipas for making his first ever Astrolopo final and for his second ever Grand Slam final in his career. And let's see now uh, what will happen on Sunday. Who will face there? I believe he will face Novak Djokovic there. And uh, let the best man win. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace!